Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Well, I thought I'd show you my uh, Christie Engineering uh, 12 volt generator. So, I've had this since about 2000. So I've had a good 20 years use out of it. And basically it's a 55 amp alternator connected to a small petrol motor. So I'll, I'll put the specs in the uh, video for you. But you might be asking yourself, why would you have a 12 volt generator? Well, most of the little uh, portable generators that do AC power and DC power can charge at about 10 amps. This is a 55 amp alternator. So for me, basically um, one hour a day is enough to keep my um, fridge battery fully charged. So before I got very expensive solar panels this was basically all I used when I was stationary and it does a fabulous job, it's still working today so 20 years in it's still going great it didn't get much use for a few years and then Toyota brought out the V8 diesels with the alternator on the bottom so it sort of got a second life because if you drive them through water and muck, mainly muck the Toyota diesels fail on the alternator silly place to put it anyway guys I'll uh, discharge your battery for you and I'll show you this thing uh, running. It's made in this row, which is nice, and I can fully recommend it. Okay, guys, I thought I'd show you this little fella running. So, this one's 20 years old, so the newer ones have a, a voltmeter and an amp meter. So this is just showing here a slight negative, so that's the alternator drawing backwards. So, it's got a high low switch, so when I start it, it'll be in the off position. And I've got it running down to a crank battery, which I've had a fluorescent light on uh, all day. And that's about an amp load. So that would be about 8 or 9 amps taken out of that battery. So pretty straight, straightforward little fella. It was running like a hairy dog earlier because the, uh, the air filter element had uh, completely disintegrated. It was running too lean. So there's an on-off switch on the back, so it's always good to check to make sure... I'm in the on position, choke here, so I'll put the choke on, make sure I turn the fuel tap on, and I said I am in the off position so there's no load on it, a bit awkward with the camera, I'll run it up a little bit, let it get a bit warm up, I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch down to low. So here I am, 9.4 amps. So 10.4 amps. So pretty straightforward, I don't know if you could hear me over that. So what I did, once I started it, so it's only just barely warmed up now, is I excited the field of the alternator by revving it up. So you saw the, the charge. I started off on low, 
Now, if the battery was heavily discharged and it was pulling over 20 amps, I'd leave it on low for a while. Then I can kick it up to high. Just steps the voltage up, really. So, a pretty neat little unit. I said it can really get you out of trouble. It saves you having to jump start vehicles that you're not familiar with. So, if someone's got a flat battery, five, ten minutes with this guy on there, and it can throw enough charge in for them to start if the battery's in good order. For me, on the basic camp setup, basically, pull up the first night don't need an ending so the second night it would need um, I don't know, about three quarters of an hour to replace my uh, generally I'm drawing 25 amps in 24 hours with my fridge setup and my camp light so this can easily keep up with it and unlike solar panels and this is throwing out 55 amps that's uh, my solar blankets about five amps so you can camp in the shade, you can do all sorts of things. And if you have a, uh, a vehicle with a failed alternator, you can either run this in the car, I've seen it done, I've done it, on a V8 Toyota, or uh, keep stopping and recharge the battery with it. So it's really a great bit of kit for out in the bush. Made in Australia here, and I said this one's 20 years old and still going like a trooper. And a quick... Uh, Bush chip here because it was running like a hairy dog with the uh, what's the filter method because it failed. This is actually a, uh, a dish sponge, so that'll do a temporary one until I get a new one from a Honda. Anyway, guys, if you like the content I create, please subscribe, it helps me out greatly, and we'll see you next time.